and we are live nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is august 14th 2021 and um i took a couple of weeks off almost a couple of weeks i guess 10 days or so off uh and i finally ended up visiting family after a year and over a year that i hadn't seen them or about a year that i hadn't seen them because of the lockdowns and whatnot and it was uh, really nice seeing everyone and touching base uh, had to sort of decompress for a couple of days after i got back and prepping up to go see them took a little bit of time joe how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream hope you are doing well as is everyone else i hope i hope i hope i hope and today um this is the first of six live streams that we're going to do we're doing one right now uh and it's 10 10 o'clock a.m my time pacific time and we're gonna run for about an hour and a half and we got a comic book haul little guy right little comic book haul <laughs> okay that we're gonna take a look at and we have um sort of just touch base and do a little update and later on this afternoon at two o'clock we're going to do a current events live stream and then the next two days hello lark bark are we doing what up what up what up hope you're doing well meta dragon hello hello in robin williams radio voice good morning chichonians good morning chichonians <laughs> Chichonia, not Vietnam. Chichonia. It's got to be a country. Good morning, Chichonia. Is that how it goes? I haven't seen it for a long time, man. MC Mike, how are you doing? So we're going to do a little comic book haul. It's more of a, a trading card haul. Okay, and then we're going to do a little update. And then tomorrow and the next day, we're going to do two live streams each day. Again, 10 a.m. my time, 2 p.m. my time, both sunday and monday where we're gonna uh, take a look at at least four of julian assange's the world tomorrow the show that he had in those 12 episodes highly recommend watching all of them but we can talk about that tomorrow or later on during current events live stream shirtless kylo how are you doing hello hello meta dragon 100 percent exactly what i wanted to hear day has begun day has begun and that was a good movie man from what i remember i don't know if it's gonna hold hold out for the test of time i'm not sure how much propaganda was in there um but robin williams i liked um controversial ending but it was what it was right lark bark saw you yesterday on the gray zone yeah youtube live stream yeah i was on twitch and then i went on youtube because i was watching gray zone and by the way gray, the gray zone if you're not following if you want current events news uh politics if you want to know what's going on in the world in a big way 95 percent on the ball right you need to be following the gray zone okay they're live streaming on sensor tube but they're also broadcasting it on twitch so you can watch it on twitch and i believe they're also broadcasting on rockfin right now yesterday's topic their guest didn't show up and what happened was uh max he started going off on things that you're not allowed to talk talk about on sensor tube and ben was getting a little nervous because he came out and said multiple times look we put years of work into this got all these subscribers this followers this platform that we have a presence on and sensor tube may ban us okay scooty thank you very much for the sub uh the twitch prime sub and he was getting a little nervous rightfully so ben and rightfully so max blumenthal was going off and not really anything regarding health or anything like this just going off regarding censorship how is it possible that a platform will not allow its audience to listen to a certain type of conversation regarding their well-being regarding the most important thing that's going on in the world right now in the last year like 
that's where sensor tube is and you we're going to be uploading this sensor tube as well because we've got five other streams the odds are none of the five are going to be uploaded to sensor tube actually the julian song stuff might be okay but just imagine or will be okay just imagine the most important thing going on in the world right now and the biggest video sharing platform prevents news journalists from talking about it on the threat of annihilating them off of their platform i've said this again okay or i'll say it again and i've said it multiple times if you're into markets stock market and stuff like this if you're into gambling on that level a heads up the odds are family will be acquiring puts on alphabet inc in the next few weeks if not a couple of weeks if not next week it is the death of sensor tube okay horrendous management horrendous management if you if you are a fund manager if you're watching this or if you have stock in alphabet inc this is not financial advice okay but i would be liquidating that those that, that position a s a p there is a flood taking place right now and people are going off of sensor tube and other platforms are getting growth mad rumble is having what was it 30 thousand percent growth in i believe that's what the number was i couldn't believe it like when i heard it 30 thousand percent growth in the last year in membership 30 000, we've done mathematics this is sensor tube here comes rumble and the other plot this is sensor tube here comes rumble and the other platforms it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time this is going to plateau okay heads up heads up heads up okay and if you're uh, in um working for sensor tube uh, they're going to downsize at some point okay and if you're in management on sensor tube you're an idiot <laughs> hello my friend kenny roberts how are you doing lark park chat chat aloha aloha the faucet elder god how are you doing hello from sunny lincoln ah, awesome brother robin williams rest in peace and the legit cry legit cried with robin williams die yeah i like robin williams man man i i don't know what happened uh the gray zone is the best gray zone is awesome uh kenny roberts hello gang scooty says and again scooty thank you very much to a twitch prime sub crunchy snack what up what up scooty all all under google even the search engine sensors out there yeah and if you're if you're if you're foolish enough to only be using or even be using google as your main search and then engine it's like watching cnn or fox for legit news you're you're gonna be a dumb dumb you're not even getting you're not even getting <laughs> getting the important parts of a discussion right stop using google as your search engine i use DuckDuckGo. there are other ones out there don't use bing either bing or yahoo don't use the technocratic search engines right DuckDuckGo has been phenomenal phenomenal there are searches you can do side by side i've done this side by side google here duck, duck go here do the searches and the google results you're like what the hell is this <laughs> like it's like searching for pi and you get it and, and you get and you get results for tape it's like what <laughs> why am i getting i'm looking for pi google's giving me results for tape what something's something's mad wrong there right meta dragons it is really astonishing just how fine the line of propaganda and misinformation is in the youtube climate right now you really have to use bias training more than ever right now yeah i'm night i can honestly tell you people fall in our discord that are following the links that i'm posting what is it gang i don't know 90 percent of the videos that i watch are on bitchute rumble odyssey or rockfin those are the four platforms that i watch videos on 
sensor tube i watch maybe 10 percent of the videos and those are generic videos usually in general or uh, the only main person that I follow on SensorTube, and I hope he opens up a opens up a channel on Rumble at least. Rumble is getting growth through man <laughs> growth, right? Jimmy Dory, if you're listening to this, damn, whoever's managing Jimmy Dory's platforms and stuff, man, what are you a fool? Get onto Rumble, get onto BitChute, get onto Odyssey. Sure, you're on Rockfin, but man. Rockfin is limited with what they're going to do because they're not accepting all creators. They're very select in the number of the creators. They're, they're, they're hitting the niche market. You want to be in the niche market, fine and dandy, right? But if you're only on Rockfin, you're sharing information, that goes to any broadcaster out there, any journalist out there, anyone that wants to share information. Make sure you're also on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Do not just be on Rockfin, okay? And just so just so you know, about a year ago, I sent them multiple messages requesting to be uh, to be able to upload to Rockfin, and I never heard back from them. Right, so there are multiple creators out there. A medium-sized creator, you know, thirty-three thousand subscribers on SensorTube, even with shadow banning. Right, I can't even get on Rockfin. Right, that means they're really going on a niche market. That only has limited exposure. So Jimmy Dory make sure your or whoever is uploading his videos make sure you're uploading to bitchute rumble and odyssey as well okay sensor tube is going down the toilet fast fast the exponential growth on rumble not surprising at all not surprising i'm pretty sure bitchute and odyssey are seeing the same thing probably slower growth right but still blows away the percent growth is going to blow away sensor tube there's no doubt about it Zandar, how are we doing? Good morning. Hi, Kitty Cat. <laughs> this is Sal. <laughs> you use Ecosia and save the trees. Oh, that's the one that they plant trees. Yeah, good idea. Jimmy Dorian needs to jump ship immediately. Immediately. He's immediately. And he needs to stop referencing uh, Twitter. Man, no one gives a rat's ass about Twitter anymore. Jimmy Dory, stop you know he go he likes the discussion there and it's fun and stuff like this but really the the people that are there are some fighters still out there uh opposing the propaganda on twitter but twitter's done uh, disclaimer family has puts on twitter right twitter is garbage so jimmy dory needs to break off from talking about twitter and putting twitter stuff up there no one gives a rat's ass about twitter really no one that really understands what's going on really doesn't they, they're not on twitter anymore right i know gray zones on there and matt is on there and stuff like this but they're they're on there because they have a lot of uh followers right but forget about it forget about it join the battle where it's taking place as lark bark is saying jimmy dory is behind the eight ball yeah anybody that's not on the other platforms which is parlor mines gab bitcloud um getter the other ones man you're behind the eight ball forget about talking to robots uh forget about talking to automation forget about trying to censor your words right get off twitter stop promoting it disclaimer puts on twitter <laughs> gang should we do a comic book haul? Should we do a comic book haul? <laughs> <Boo. laughs> what time is it? We're 14 minutes in. That was my little intro on this deal. Let's do a comic book haul, gang. Okay. So this comic book haul right here, it's not a comic book. It's a trading card haul. Okay. And for some reason, I just went to just pop this open and it actually opened. So... I'm pretty sure this when it went through border, it was checked, but they never put tape on it again, which is really wacko. Okay. Ma, thank you for taking your business. Yes, comics indeed. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So this was open. Okay. And I'm sort of like, hey, wait a second. Okay. I don't like they went through it. Okay. So let me make sure this is what it's supposed to be. Why no why? <laughs> And, oh we got we got maybe trolls going on check this out now let me tell you how much this thing cost let me tell you how much this thing cost okay let me open up my 
thingamajiggy. Bum ba da dum bum bum bum. Let me tell you how much this thing cost. And you would have seen this before. You would have seen this before. You would have seen this before. And for those of you that are listening to this live stream on uh, SoundCloud, apologies if you're not going to see what we're doing because this is also going to be broadcast, uploaded as a podcast on SoundCloud. So will the stream later today. Okay. Oh, sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Let's check this out. Let me tell you how much this baby cost. This thing, including shipping, cost me a hundred and thirty-three dollars US. I bought it for a hundred and five, and the rest of it was shipping. And this time, I didn't have to pay duty on this thing. This time, I didn't have to pay duty on this thing. Okay. Ah, oh, elder guy, you got business taken care of. Your sword is sharp today. So check check this out, gang. Okay, check this out. Check this out. $133. Now, before we do this, let me let me show you the other guys that we had, right? Let me show you the other guys that we had. Now, a while ago, we did the reading for, we bought... The drug war trading cards right we did the reading for this whole set right we did the reading for this whole set drug history of the war on drugs right amazing 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 it's on sensor tube on a playlist and it's on rumble pichute and odyssey as well right the mod is on it like clockwork awesome awesome elder god take them out take them out take them out now after we got these, I've got a bunch of these. We're going to be doing a giveaway for these, right? During our yearly uh, points auction, right? Now, then we ended up getting the Iran Contra scandal, which is we're going to do the reading for this too, right? All the cards. Okay. So we're going to do the full reading for all of these as well, right? And then we ended up getting. Coup d'etat, the assassination of John F. K. The assassination of John F. K. Right? And we're going to do a full reading on all of these as well. Okay. More history. I knew my war on drugs history. Really. I've been I've been at this for a long time. I've been I've been an anti-prohibitionist for more than a couple of decades now, but a couple of decades full on right meta dragons i am on the fourth issue of infinity gauntlet first time read through wow awesome 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 and read the silver surfer meta dragons read the silver surfer uh build up to the infinity gauntlet okay read the silver surfer build up to infinity gauntlet regarding war on drugs i knew my history on the war on drugs but i didn't know my history on the war on drugs so if i didn't know my history on the war on drugs i can bet you majority of people if you end up reading this these tr drug war trading cards by eclipse comics that came out in 1991 it will blow your mind it will blow your mind okay now the next set of cards we got we didn't get a box we didn't get a box right so i took out the drug war trading cards these are the ones right i took them out of this box and i put the cards that we had uh in this box right because i want to protect them and the cards we got were the dirty rotten scoundrels right dirty rotten scoundrels so i put that on there right because we didn't we didn't get them we didn't get them right we didn't get a box and it cost us it cost us 180 dollars how much did it cost us it cost like a lot of money it cost i should have it here let me tell you how much it cost it cost it cost it cost $152 US plus I had to pay for duty when it came across the border, $30. So $150. So it cost $180 plus without the box. Without the box. Without the box. <laughs> we got the box. <laughs> awesome. Check this out. So $130, including shipping, uh, duty taken care of, right? And we got the 
rotten to the core oh i should i put dirty rotten scoundrels on there instead of rotten to the core <laughs> check this out i put dirty rotten scoundrels it's not dirty rotten scoundrels it's rotten to the core trading cars rotten to the core trading cars damn that's sweet buddy thank you very happy to get this initially the guy who had listed this was selling it for 160 us right and it went through a couple of times iterations where he had to relist it and then he finally kicked it down and i didn't have enough funds in my uh in my account to be able to buy it right but when i had enough funds he ended up i checked he ended up having it for a hundred dollars right and then it was you know 30 plus for shipping and whatnot right so rotten to the core trading cars the best and worst of new york city politics right let's look at this and there's two key cards that we really want to make sure we have here right i think lark bark i think the cat either disagrees or agrees. the cat's going crazy that's sal going crazy he's like <laughs> he wanted up here he was uh, had some snacks here he came in uh he was trying to get to the snacks right so i prevented them so he's like hey i want the food elder god i finally read my comics i won on last night's uh point for ah awesome go go boy the artwork is rough brother but i think it was legit it it was authentic it was sincere and this is a go go boy comic books that i ended up printing from my uh comic book publishing company that i had in 1990s and we published the first lgbtq comic book series okay continuing series superhero comic book continuing series and uh I, I had to print it i had to accept what the guy sent me and put out that series and i'm very proud of it even though the artwork is very rough it is rough but it improved and we were censored by uh by diamond distributors check this out check this out edward kosh so there's got to be and it's got the thingamajiggy in there too the description very nice very nice check this out check this out we're looking for card i forget which card it was card number 26 i believe so these things are amazing <laughs> cats are in full fighting mode the added magazine had my parents were though ah yeah that's right i sent you a magazine because the uh, lgbtq magazine one of the largest magazines uh lgbtq magazines in north america put google boy on the front page they covered google boy comic book series that it was publishing in the 1990s okay they did an interview with the creator that's how important the series was and is right and just consider this the comic book the main comic book publishing company would not carry it right just letting people know right meta dragons i didn't know about your publishing company on the gpd run that's amazing Man, i'm super proud of it at the time i was like what am i doing and the distributor refused the other books um, that i submitted at the same time and there's no way they should have refused anyway we'll get into that story later check this out these are the type of cars there are right uh donald mains right this is card and it's got descriptions in the back right that's card number 12 right let's keep on going find the find the find the gold man i hope it's in here it should be come on oh yes baby nice and check this out this one this card i'll show you the this is card number number 26 and in the pictures the corner has a little dent in it so the other one that i have that's in this one is in better condition okay but check this out donald trump card donald trump card this is i believe his rookie card right i think so anyway on this level donald trump with a plane in new york standing on his towers or it might be no it's got to be new york right and it's card number 26 
Okay. Well worth the buy. Well worth the buy. And you can see the dent right there, right? Squished the corner. Okay. So I'm not sure how grading works, what grade this would be given, but I'm very glad to have it in this grade. Okay. And the last card, card number 36, is Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. These are the two cards that are worth a fair bit. Um, like the Donald Trump card. The Donald Trump card graded at 10 is listed at 10 grand on eBay. I don't know if like if I if I was a millionaire, I'd probably buy it. But I'm not a millionaire. Right? I can buy the whole deck for a hundred bucks or 130 bucks. I'll I'll do that. Right? Okay. Very happy to have this second set of rotten to the core trading cards. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Box included. Box included. It was a great deal. It was a great deal. Okay. Um, it was a great deal. I'm going to put this in here. And here's a box again. Rotten to the core. Rotten to the core trading cards. Who are those people on there? Will it focus? Let's see. Who are those people on there? I don't recognize any of these people. Look at the dog spot. New York Bust? New York or Bust? Funny. Cool. Very glad to have that. Okay. Nice collection. Here we go. We got four of them. We got four. We got four out of... This guy goes like this. I think they produced eight uh, trading card sets in total. And we got four. Okay. And we got four. Very nice. Very happy for this. Right after her 14 minute intro on opening dialogue. <laughs> Spruce Weber. Spruce Weber. You didn't get banned, first of all. Elder God is our mod. And he he's very generous very generous very generous uh so you came on to the stream um and said boobies and he he said you know just chill for a bit but you kept on doing it i believe and then he gave you a 60 second 600 second 10 minute timeout right which i think is legit and this is the comment that spruce weber just posted i'm going to allow it and by the way spruce weber which auto mod zapped your comment i have to approve it so when you do that when i have to constantly go through and approve things and you're doing this and that then it takes away from the flow of things even though we can discuss it so if you have a point regarding boobies let us know we can talk about it but if you're here just to yell boobies it's like having a teaching a class or being in a in a in an auditorium right we're talking about food and some dingling is keeps on getting up and going boobies 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 usually you would you would call that person disturbed maybe or very confused right <laughs> or a troll so which one are you all right because if you want to get on a booby live stream you should go to a booby live stream not a comic book live stream <laughs> right no the other guy said it oh i don't know this bruce i said it once okay so thank you for understanding i'm just protecting the stream yeah and i agree with elder god i agree with elder god right the other guy made a timely comment which was funny with context was it okay sometimes we make mistakes by the way uh spruce weber uh, sometimes we make mistakes and if we made mistakes our apologies right but right now there's a lot of things going on right so um, you know be kind that's the name of the game really right yeah maybe he's uh, spruce I don't know if you're new here or not you're okay we can have fun but 
uh, that is what it is, right? Uh, aside from that gang, that was our comic book stream and talking about people and oh, we're getting a little message coming from our Nightbot. Don't forget, gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. And don't forget, in the next two days, we're doing four live streams related to Julian Assange. Incredibly important moments in history taking place right now. Okay. Let's go to the chat and talk about whatever it is we want to talk about. And, uh, you know, I have some updates and stuff, but that basically comes on as we're talking about it. And don't forget, we're going to do our current events live stream starting at 2 p.m. today, 2 to 4 p.m. today. And that's not going to be loaded on sensor tube. Uh, most definitely not loaded on the sensor tube because I'm going to let loose a little bit. Okay. So, oh, and that's getting cats running and hitting the table. So, to, right now for this for this stream, we're just chit chatting, just touching base because I haven't streamed for about a couple of weeks now. Okay, peanut butter part, pumpkin party. Thank you for redeeming 1000 points. Oh, and another thousand points. Peanut butter pumpkin party. Don't forget, don't forget at some point. Well, not some point in two months, two, three months, we're going to do auction where you can redeem your points where you can bid on them based on how many points you have for items that we're going to be listing and we're going to have a at least four or five six decks of these that i'm going to auction off to redeem with points on twitch so if you're okay with it you can redeem your points whenever you want gang but you might want to hold on to them as well and redeem them when you want to bid on something <laughs> that's the kitty cats going crazy <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, Elder God, you're doing an awesome job, Lark Bark says. I agree with Elder God. I agree with Bart Lark Bark. I love the cars and the boobies. Haha, <laughs> awesome, Padre. Spruce. The guy used it as a punchline for the summarization of the open dialogue tangent. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Our apologies. Right? Ronnie, how you doing? Meta Dragons. This is an epic stream so far. My word. Cats are going wild. Cats are going wild. <laughs> Scooty, any cookie streams planned in the future? No, cooking stream. I, 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 I was planning doing some uh, in this set, but there was a decision that was handed down regarding Julian Assange's trial in the UK. So I thought it was important to cover that. Uh, in the next set, most likely we're going to do cooking streams. Okay philosophy and pancakes man maybe we should do a philosophy and pancakes we started off our cooking streams with philosophy and pancakes uh so maybe okay scooty we plan on doing okay we plan on doing send me a reminder on discord i'll put it into my to-do list okay the cats are losing it <laughs> they might be sensing the energy level as well right padre Glad you got to see your family, bro. Thank you. Me too. Me too. And Elder God as well. I believe Elder God went home after a year of not being home. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done this. Uh, as soon as it opened up a little bit, go visit your family. Touch base. Okay. And I was talking to Elder God on Discord and basically mentioned that this is us touching base with family before we go to the front lines right you need to ground get your bearings right uh figure out what's important in your life before in preparation in the battle that is coming right that is already here okay would love a cooking stream me too xander greetings boss greetings kebabs how you doing How's life like work? I, and I heard Julian Assange looks awful, but unrecognizable. Yeah, I heard that as well. Gang, if you don't understand what is happening to Julian Assange, we are witnessing fascist regimes crucify a journalist in real time 
in front of the whole world for those of us that are paying attention never forget Muller's poem first they came okay never forget that poem okay, okay thanks Scooty thanks Scooty 19 months elder god you hadn't seen your family wow uh meta dragons i went and visited family i went and pay, played backgammon with grandma right i stayed with my grandma for a week basically okay and we would have breakfast in the morning and play backgammon right after breakfast and most nights when i came home not most nights but some of the nights i came home when i was out doing doing things we play backgammon right we touch base right and we celebrated her birthday 93rd birthday right it's good to still have a grandma i don't think she will be around much longer but it's good to have her my afghan friend kebabs just left to go visit family yeah not the best timing to say this yeah not the best timing kebabs uh, depending on where he is um because we're about to see a saigon moment with helicopters from air the airport now in uh, uh, Kandahar I believe it is that's where they're moving all the Americans it's done right Lark bar they're doing a number on Julian Assange they're doing a number on humanity okay meanwhile they've got people fighting against each other for the dumbest reasons right Padre my internet connection is horrible right now uh might catch the other stream free assange free assange padre hopefully we see you at two o'clock today 93rd that's a great age that's a great age that's a great age 93 years strong i doubt like i don't know how many of you guys think you might make it to 93 but i don't think there's going to be too many of us to make it to 93 kebabs i don't think she's in uh taliban terror she oh but as quick as they are advancing who knows for how long yeah uh, there is serious stuff going on kebabs um, this is something that many of us in or some of us not many of us i was i was uh telling people that this was the end game this was the end result of what was going to happen back in 2001 2002 2001 really even be before uh, the, the decision was made publicly announced that they were going to go in there afghanistan that this was a very very bad idea that uh, people kept on dismissing it let's see if people understand what the game is Right. and mainly the game is to manip manipulate humanity to do the bidding of the oligarchs and the technocrats and the fascists <laughs> right grow for us nbc just labeled uh concer concerned citizens whether it be about covid mandates election results as possible terrorist threats. yeah yeah first they came never forget that poem man they were when they're when the patriot act hit okay i try to talk to people and explain to them that what they're doing to others they will do one to you and people dismissed it okay i'm not sure why it is that people don't understand that when they forfeit their rights to central power that central power central authority will do whatever it wants with that power including turning the guns on its own citizens to commit genocide right because that's what has happened throughout history why in the world did people think that it wasn't going to happen now okay. joe and by the way gang since we started getting on this topic okay i should have done this intro at the beginning but from now on i'm going to do this little intro i will upload this to sensor tube but just to let you guys know 
from now on at the beginning of streams if i remember i'm gonna state this to the people watching on sensor tube if you see the stream cut short the full stream the full video will be on bitshoot rumble and odyssey because it means we are talking about things that we're not allowed to talk about right so tell you what this is how long the stream is going to be that we're going to load on sensor tube okay it's about 40 minutes up time let's check it out up time up time yeah we're 40 minutes into this live stream the first live stream we're doing today okay and for those of you that are watching on sensor tube we'll have we're gonna have to cut the stream and to watch the stream you're gonna have to go to bitchute rumble on odyssey your pick bitch is having some hiccups with longer videos that i'm uploading so if you don't find it there go to rumble and odyssey and the links will be in the description of this video and i can guarantee you this is the same intro that i'm going to do for the two o'clock stream that we have regarding current events because that whole thing is not going to be loaded on sensor tube either okay aside from that thank you for watching for 40 minutes it is beyond my control you're not allowed to listen to the discussion uh, listen to information listen to people's concerns your brothers and sisters okay mothers and fathers okay friends and relatives you're not allowed to listen to them talk about whatever sensor tube does not want you to talk about so in essence you are in prison if you want to stay in video prison video land prison continue to only watch video content on sensor tube aside from that there are multiple these are just three video sharing platforms that are growing like mad and that's where majority of creators are uploading most of their or all of their content if they're wise enough okay aside from that i'm going back to the chat apologies about that little tangent gang let's talk